Arriving in Dillingham for the start of our 12-day bear hunt was really exciting. My cousin Seth Neal and I are traveling 65 nautical miles off the west coast of Alaska to hunt grizzly. This adventure was inspired by my two sons who have been very focused on bear hunting. It's forcing me to research, reevaluate, and now set off to gain experience to ensure a safe and good experience for them in the future. We went straight to work in glass nearly every minute of the daylight. We saw caribou, moose, lots of birds, and numerous bears throughout the trip. It was big country and it was going to be anything but easy. Soaking rains limited visibility for the first two days of hunting, but as windows of high pressure passed, we started to spot bears. On the fifth evening, Around 7 p.m. we spotted a boar two miles away feeding out of the back range. We gathered ourselves quickly and began the long stalk. It took us about an hour and a half to navigate the thick alders and willows. But eventually, as we crested the ridge where we last saw the bear, we noticed that he was feeding down below us at approximately 260 yards. The guide and I moved to belly crawling in an attempt to get closer. At 166 yards, the wind stopped, and the bear heard us immediately. Unable to smell or see us in the tall grass, he slowly made his way off, knowing something wasn't right. We were asked to follow strict guidelines for shooting, knowing the danger of pursuing wounded bears into the thick brush. Watching the bear slip away, I was sick to my stomach, thinking my opportunity may have just been lost. The following day, we moved to the opposite end of the lake and kept working. Throughout the day, we saw numerous pairs of sows and cubs. Notice how the bears really never stop, oftentimes trotting or running as they travel. The next day we made our way back to where we spotted that dark boar. The area was loaded with berries. The 
At 8.30 p.m., Seth spotted a lone bear feeding through berries about a mile and a half away. We had to try to head it off. of getting in within a hundred yards to take one of these buggers is beyond what you could imagine. Last night we got in 166 oh, yards and we didn't make, you know, he, he knew something was up and he tailed away, but we got a second chance. Good job, dude. About Pat, thanks yards. a lot. Oh yeah, bud. Appreciate it. <sighs> Beautiful color bear. Yeah. There are so many variables that make hunting grizzlies a big challenge. After a year of preparation, I couldn't have been more excited about having succeeded in taking a bear. It's a true blessing to spend time in wilderness, learning more about the grizzlies, and having played a small part in their conservation. The experience went way beyond my expectations. I'm going home with a better appreciation for my daily life, committed to being a better husband and father. Think about the passions that inspire you and start planning your next adventure.